Hey everyone, Dr. Tom Cheney here, back with another video. In my previous video, I mentioned oxalates, and one of the questions I got from um, some of the viewers is, well, how do I decrease oxalates in the body? So, if, I've, if you've been tested and you have high oxalates in your body and you want to reduce them, um, here's six steps that you can take to reduce oxalates in the body. The first step is you have to reduce high oxalate foods in your diet. So we talked about some of the common ones in the last video. Spinach is common, berries are common, nuts are common. Um, you can check online and, and if you look at my blog, I actually have a link to uh, high oxalate foods. It's a list so that you can take a look and see which ones that are in your diet and start minimizing and reducing and eliminating these foods from your diet. So that's step number one. The step two is you can take a supplement. So you can take calcium citrate and that will help to bind and absorb these in the, in the intestinal tract and get them out of the body. So that would be step number two. Step number three is what I do with patients is I check to see if they have any fungal infections. If they have fungal infections, then once again, this is gonna be another source of oxalates. So we want to put them on an antifungal protocol to eliminate the fungal infection so we see this is very common with our patients, and this is gonna be another source of high oxalates in the body. So step number four to reduce oxalates in the body is going to be to add another supplement to your, to your diet, which is gonna be chondroitin sulfate. So that's gonna to help to reduce the formation of these oxalates. Step number five is increase your water intake. You're gonna help flush these oxalates out by increasing your water intake. And step number six is going to be add a supplement of vitamin B6 to your, to your protocol, and that's gonna provide an enzymatic process to help to break down these oxalates. So I hope you got some good information from this video. Once again, if you want more information about oxalates, check out the blog that I just recently wrote, um, and I'm gonna put a link to that below, and you can check it out. And I hope you got some great information from this video, and I'll see you in the next video.